Hey team, Kestova back with a little example for you today. Um, we're gonna be diving in back to steel design and we're gonna be talking about uh, W shapes in strong axis shear. So we're just gonna look uh, quickly into how to calculate shear capacity of your uh, W section in strong axis. Let's jump in. So our problem example is denoted here today. Determine the available shear strength and adequacy of a W24 by 62, ASTM A992, that we know is our material, and we're gonna be using the AISC manual uh, with N shears of 48 kips from dead load and 145 kips from live load. Well, uh, so today I don't have um, a PDF version of the AISC steel manual, so I won't be referencing back to the steel manual but uh, I will be referencing all the tables and sections that you'll need to go to. So you'll need to use your own steel manual. So first we need the properties of our W24 by 62. Um, this can be found in the AISC manual in table 2-4 uh, under the material properties. So ASTM A992 has FY 50 KSI and FU 65 KSI. Um, we are gonna be designing um, per LRFD under ASCE 716 criteria. So next we need our governing load cases. Now our load cases can be found in uh, the ASCE 716 chapter two. And for us today, our governing case is going to be 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live. Again, because we're using LRFD design. So if we plug in, we know that V ultimate, since it's LRFD, it's gonna equal 1.2 times 48 kips, because that was our dead load, plus 1.6, 145 kips. That was our live load from above. So if we scroll back up, dead, live. That is gonna get us an ultimate shear of 290 kips. Okay, we have our demand. Now we need to know the capacity of our member. So in the AISC manual, table 3-2, you can find the available shear strength so this is just all tabulated. Um, we're not gonna be diving into the back chapters um, and the provisions talking about how to actually calculate the shear. Um, in this case, we have a straight up W section and we know the size, so we can just go to the tabulated um, portions of the AISC to grab our shear capacity. Our shear capacity is denoted FV, FN, again, under LRFD criteria, equaling 306 kips. So we know our capacity, VVN equaling 306 kips, is greater than our demand, VU, our ultimate shear, of 290 kips. So we are okay, we're good. Now, if you wanted to go back and design per the provisions, we can do that to compare. Next, we are going to design via chapter uh, G.1A, and applying all the provisions of the AISC specifications. So what additional information do we need? Well, we know from a W24 by 62, the depth of the member is 23.7 inches, and the thickness of the web is equal to 0 0.34 inches. Um, and again, these are table 1-1, um, to find the geometric properties of your section. Now, except for very few sections, uh, which are listed in the user notes, we're gonna be using AASC specification section G2.1A when our FY is equal to 50 KSI, we know CV equals 1.0. Next, we need to calculate the area of the web because the web is uh, where all of our shear is going to be transferring through. And we know area web equals the depth times the thickness of the web. And that is from AISC specification section G2.1B. That gets us the following. So that gets us an area web of 10.2 square inches. Now we can calculate uh, VN, our demand without our uh, fee factor on it. Because again, this is, we're going through LRFD design. VN equals 0 0.6 FY AW CV. And this again is found in the AASC section G2.1. 
for W sections. We plug everything in, we get the following. That equals 306 kips. And again, for this criteria, because we know that uh, CV equals 1.0, we also know in this case that phi V equals 1.0. So we know that phi V VN, our capacity, equals 306 kips, which is greater than our demand, VU, of 290 kips, which we are okay. So we see that it matches the top from the tabulated portion of the AASC, just as it does um, as it matches the equations and the specifications in the back of, of the book. So they literally used those uh, equations that they derived and then tabulated um, common W section shapes that they know um, CV equaled 1.0 and phi equaled 1.0 um, with an FY of 50 KSI. So that's how it kind of becomes um, a constant uh, of just plugging in to that single phi VN equation here if you know that CV equals 1.0. Um, so it becomes really easy to tabulate it and that's what they've done for us in order to uh, speed things up. But that's it for today. So please like and subscribe as always. Um, this one might have been a little rushed, but you know it's down and dirty straight to the point of sheer capacity of your W steel section. So please leave any suggestions for problems uh, next time, and I will be happy to look at them and get them answered for you. Until next time, this is Kestova. See you guys later.